The Milky Way galaxy is a cosmic ocean filled with billions of stars, each differing in brightness, size, and temperature. Among them are colossal giants that make our sun appear no larger than a grain of sand in comparison. These vast celestial bodies captivate astronomers and enthusiasts alike, not just for their beauty but for the immense mysteries they hold. To understand their magnitude, scientists rely on both direct and indirect measurements, combining advanced observation techniques with precise mathematics to estimate their distances, luminosity, and sizes. Through centuries of observation and technological progress, humanity has begun to uncover the titans of the cosmos, stars so vast they could swallow our solar system whole. A star is, at its core, a massive, luminous sphere composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, existing in a plasma state. The intense gravitational pressure within forces atomic nuclei to collide and fuse, releasing enormous amounts of energy through nuclear fusion. This balance between the outward force of radiation and the inward pull of gravity allows a star to maintain its shape over millions or even billions of years. Stars are born within dense molecular clouds, where gas and dust clump together under gravity until the pressure and temperature become high enough to ignite fusion, marking the birth of a new star. As stars evolve, their life cycles differ dramatically based on their mass. Smaller stars like the Sun live long, stable lives, fusing hydrogen into helium in a steady rhythm. Massive stars, however, live fast and die young. Their immense gravity and pressure accelerate fusion, burning through hydrogen rapidly before transitioning to heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen. When these giants exhaust their fuel, they swell into enormous red or yellow supergiants, expanding thousands of times their original size. The largest of these, hypergiants, reach mind-boggling dimensions, with diameters spanning billions of kilometers. Measuring these distant behemoths is a monumental challenge. Astronomers depend on two key data points, the star's angular diameter, how large it appears from Earth, and its distance. With these, the actual size can be calculated. However, vast distances, interstellar dust, and the limitations of current instruments make precision difficult. Techniques like parallax, which use Earth's orbit to triangulate distance, work well for nearby stars but lose accuracy with objects thousands of light years away. For the more distant ones, astronomers rely on indirect methods, comparing their spectral data, light patterns that reveal temperature and composition, to known stellar types. Throughout history, several stars have claimed the title of the largest known in the universe. One of the earliest contenders was Vy Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant about 3,900 light-years from Earth. This immense star, surrounded by a complex nebula of expelled material, was once thought to measure around 1,800 times the Sun's radius. Even at more recent estimates of around 1,420 solar radii, it would still engulf Jupiter's orbit if placed at the center of our solar system. Vy Canis Majoris is in its final stage of life, shedding mass and preparing to go supernova, a fittingly dramatic end for such a cosmic titan. Following it, Ui Scuddy rose to prominence as perhaps the largest known star. Located in the constellation Scutum, this pulsating red supergiant sits roughly 9,000 to 10,000 light-years away. For a time, it was estimated to be about 1,700 solar radii across, rivaling or surpassing Canis Majoris. Later measurements from the Gaia spacecraft suggested a smaller distance and size, around 755 solar radii, but the data remains debated due to uncertainties in measurement methods for such distant and massive objects. Regardless, UI Scuddy remains one of the most luminous and immense stars ever observed. Yet, as in all fields of astronomy, new discoveries continue to rewrite the record books. Enter Stevenson 2-18, the current champion in the race for cosmic size supremacy. Found in the same constellation as UI Scuddy but much farther away, around 19,000 light years, Stevenson 2-18 is a red hypergiant unlike any other. It resides within the open cluster Stevenson 2, a region dense with massive stars. Among these giants, Stevenson 2-18 stands out as the brightest and largest, boasting a luminosity approximately 440,000 times that of the Sun. Its estimated radius of 2,149 solar radii makes it truly awe-inspiring. To put that into perspective, if Stevenson 2-18 replaced the Sun, its surface would stretch far beyond the orbit of Saturn. 
The star's sheer volume would be nearly 10 billion times greater than that of the Sun. It is a young but rapidly evolving star, and scientists believe it may grow even larger as it ages, eventually ending its life in a supernova explosion. When that happens, it will scatter elements forged in its core across the galaxy, seeding future stars and planets, a process that demonstrates how destruction in the cosmos often leads to creation. The study of these massive stars provides invaluable insight into the life cycles of stellar bodies and the evolution of galaxies. Though measuring their exact properties remains complex, each discovery deepens our understanding of the universe. From the shimmering clouds where stars are born to their fiery deaths as supernovae, the story of these cosmic giants is one of power, transformation, and mystery. Stevenson 2-18 currently reigns as the king of known stars, an enormous, blazing beacon that challenges our perception of scale and existence. Yet the cosmos is vast beyond comprehension, and it is entirely possible that somewhere out there, hidden behind the dense veils of interstellar dust, lies an even greater giant, waiting to be discovered by the next generation of astronomers. These titans of light remind us just how small and fragile our world truly is, suspended in the endless darkness of an ever-expanding universe, where every grain of starlight tells a story written in the language of time and space.